so today I'm just going to be doing a small, small, small review on this flat iron that I purchased from TJ Maxx. And I saw Miss This 897 do a review on hers. Well, she got it as a set. And it's like the itty bitty tiny flat irons that they have out nowadays. And then they have the bigger flat iron that look just like it. Well, I just got the little small one. And this is mine. And it's black with some gray kind of design on it. And um, I wanted to try out the little one before I purchased the set. And um, I think it was like $10.99 or $10 even at um tj maxx and it was on sale it was having a good sale so i caught them on that and the name is pronounced i o n i k a so as you know i don't like to pronounce words the wrong way so i'm just going to give you the spelling of it is i o n i k a so you tell me exactly how that's pronounced or you know whatever but anyway this is it and um it doesn't have a temperature gauge where you can go from high to low. It just has an on and off button. And that's it right there. I think if you can see that right there. And um, it gets up to 400 degrees so it's like extremely hot. I only do it for my roots when I need a touch up. And I don't always use this on my roots just to clear that up. Probably maybe like twice a month if that maybe once I didn't I didn't even use this none last month I don't even think I did no I didn't use it none last month but um it has a little red light right there that comes on to let you know that it's on um the cord is not um movable or anything it's really stiff um the cord is actually also really thick so I'm guessing it has to be thick because this is like really tiny and for all that electricity to shoot through here to get it up to 400 degrees it has to come with a pretty huge core bigger than um a regular size flat iron core actually um yeah i don't think these little silver button look um type things here they they, they don't do anything or whatever and um yeah also this is extremely hot so you can handle it from right here on down and it's cool but from this part right here on up it's like really really hot unless you can really deal with heat you can't hold this you know unless you just go with heat like that but um, I'm just gonna do a little review on how I would straighten out my roots and how good it is so you guys can actually see how it works okay so I've already did this side and now I'm just going to be doing this side right here. I am using my rat tail comb, of course. And I'm just going to do a very, very thin part. If I move a lot in doing this, it's because I only have a little mirror to see everything because I'm stooped down. But um, I am just going to comb it first. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm just going to comb this first. And then I'm going to take the first section, like right here, to demonstrate. And what I do is take it to my root and I hold down on it for like maybe like a few seconds. Hold down and well, actually pressing the roots together and come up a little bit. And then I go back down and then I slide up a little bit. And go back down because I have really kinky hair so there we go mine takes a few times and that's how it looks so this is after this is before and this is after so I haven't had a relaxer in like five weeks I think and um my hair tends to get really really kinky and I can't believe how good I'm my relaxer looks. Mommy, can I wash my hands? Not right now, baby. I'm doing something. Since it's been five weeks, but um, so you, I go back and I press down on it, and then I pull up like that. Then I press down on it and I pull up. Okay, and there you have it. I hope I was even 
was in a shot. And I just get my red tail comb and I blend all the hairs in together. Like that. Okay, and that is how I usually do it. Okay, so that was my very, very short review on how I would use that. Like I said, I only use it for my roots and it is not a constant thing I do because it's like extremely hot. So you don't actually want it to burn your hair. So that's why I press slide and I press slide and I take it up. I mean, I'm um, press it down my hair, slide, take it off. I don't leave it on for a long amount of time. But um, yeah, that is what I do when my relaxer is to the extreme or to the max. Okay, so this is the flat iron again. I will have close-up pictures of how it looks. So what I would rate this product, um. 1 to 5 is a 5. I would rate this a 5. Um, you just have to be careful because it does heat up really fast and it does get like extremely hot. Um, other than that, I love everything else about it. Um, I've used this about, I don't know, probably about maybe 6 times honestly. And um, it's actually good just be careful because it's really hot and it does have a warning sticker right there to let you guys know so um yeah that's about all and i'll talk to you later bye